In this video, I'll show you how to make a Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser and go to a search engine. I'm going to use Google Chrome, but it does not matter which you use. I'm using Google, but you can use any search engine. And the next thing you need to go and do is go and search for Minecraft server download. Now, basically we need a specific application to go and run the server. So just keep following me. It's really simple. Go and search for it just like that. And what you need to do is make sure you go to the official Minecraft website, which is minecraft.net. And we're doing this in Minecraft Java. There's also the bedrock down here, but we're doing it Java in this case. So go and tap on it like so, and it will take a moment to load. And here we are. So as you can see, it says download the Minecraft Java Edition server. What you need to do is come down to this option here and go and tap on the underlying text saying Minecraft server. So tap there and that download should then begin. The download has now begun in the top right, but every browser is going to download files slightly differently, but you can always go and find your downloads in your downloads folder in your file explorer. So go and open that up and find it in there. Here we are in my downloads folder on my file explorer. And here is the file that I just downloaded. As you can see, it's called server. And all you want to do is drag it onto your desktop just because it makes things a little bit easier. The next thing you need to do is to go and create a folder. So all you want to do is right click on your desktop and then go and tap on new and tap on folder just like so. Then just go and name it server or Minecraft server, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter just so you know what it is. Then what we need to do is go and double tap on it like so. Then what you need to do is go and drag this server file into it like so, just like that. Now, what you need to do is go and look at it. And as you can see, it's got a sort of little coffee logo and it's also called an executable jar file. So essentially what we need to do is make sure you've got Java installed on your computer. If this is anything else, it probably means you don't have Java installed. So to do and do that, all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. And then all you need to do is go and search something called Java, just like so. Hit enter and make sure you go to java.com. And then right on the home screen should be a button saying download Java. So go and tap on it like so. And this is what you need, 64-bit Java for Windows. Then tap on download Java again and Java will start downloading. So it's going to go and download and then all you need to do is go and find it in your file explorer or wherever. Then go and install it just like any other program. It's really straightforward. And then what I recommend doing is restarting your computer just to make sure everything is properly installed. And then once you've installed it, come back to this file here and then click on it once and right click on it. And then go and tap on open with um, and then click choose another app. And then what you need to do is find Java TM platform SE binary or go and click on more apps to go and find it and then go and tap OK. And then it should run. And if it doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix. We've got a guide on that on the channel, um, but just go and search on YouTube jar fix or check out our channel for that. Anyways, now what you need to do is go and double click on server or right click on it and do the open with I just showed you just like so. And in a minute, you're going to go notice some things start appearing in this folder and more files will keep popping up. But what you need to do is go and look for the text document called EULA. Go and double tap on that just like so. And it's actually appeared on my other monitor. So I'll drag it in and here it is. So what this is, is basically you need to go and agree to the uh, agreement with Minecraft about running a server. So I personally going to run this, but you need to go and copy and paste this link into a browser, go and read it and make sure you agree to it. And if you do, you then need to come down to EULA down here and change false to true, just like so. Make sure you keep everything exactly the same. Don't add any spaces and yeah, end it just like that. And then all you need to do is hit file and then go and tap on save and that's now updated. So once you've agreed to EULA, you can then go and double tap on server again, just like this. And now the server is actually going to go and launch. And then this thing called Minecraft server is going to go and pop up. And as you can see here, it is. It's now preparing the spawn area. So it's basically making the world for us. And um, so yeah, you can sit back and wait for this to go and finish. And there we go. It's now gone and created the world, but I want to quickly go and show you how you can go and change some settings for your server. So quickly just go and close off your server, pressing on the cross like so. And this is actually going to go and stop the server. But if you want to go and um, change any settings or things like that, what we need to do is edit the server.properties file. To do that, literally right click on it and then go and tap on open with. And what we need to do is press on more apps and then use notepad, then tap OK. And here it is. As you can see, it's completely readable. It's just a properties file. And yeah, there's all these different options. For example, you may want to go and change the difficulty to something like peaceful or maybe even hard. It's completely up to you. So I might do peaceful. And then when you make any change, make sure you hit file and then go and tap on save. I mean, yeah, and you could also go and change the game mode to creative, for example, just like so. And then once again, hit file and hit save just like so. And you can continue to go and edit these. 
Now, once you've gone and changed that, we can now go and launch the server again. So go and double tap on the server.jar file, just like so. And then we're gonna go and get this pop-up in just a moment. And now that the server's running, you probably want to go and join it. So let's go and do this. Make sure you run Minecraft for the same version as you downloaded for the Minecraft server. It would have said which version you downloaded it for. If you've forgotten, then don't worry. All you need to do is come back to the Minecraft Java Edition server download page. And as you can see, we can go and see that it's Minecraft server 1.19.3. So that is what I need to go and run Minecraft. In. Now here we are in Minecraft, so literally you just need to go and run Minecraft while your Minecraft server is running. So let's go and make this full screen just like so, and then go and tap on multiplayer, and all you need to do is go and tap on add server or direct connection, and for the server address, what you need to do is type in local host just like this, and then go and press join server, and I'll then say connecting to the server, and in a minute it's now going to log us in, as you can see joining the world and we should be joining just like now and this is literally it guys it is night time at the moment but if i go and pause the game we come back to the server as you can see in the chat log we can go and see i've gone and joined the game and let's come back to minecraft and if you want to go and set the time or something like that you may notice that it goes and says unknown command this is because i'm not an admin even though it's my own server to so give myself admin all you need to do is go and type in op and then type in your username so I'll type in mine now and then hit enter. And as you can see, it's now made tutorial Tucker a server operator. And yeah, I can now go and do things like setting the time just like so. And now you may be wondering, how can I go and get friends to go and join this server? Well, you're gonna need to go and do something called port forwarding because at the moment, this server is only running on your computer and your network, so nobody else can go and join it. And what you need to do is go and forward it so it's basically available on your IP. But this does mean that when you want other people to go and join it after you've gone and port forward, well, I've got a full guide on my channel, so check out the channel for a port forwarding guide. I'll link it down below as well. What this means is that you have to go and share your public IP in order for people to go and join, which can be quite dangerous because people can go and find your exact location with. So a basic rule I go and follow is I wouldn't go and give this IP to people who I wouldn't invite to my own house because this IP is showing your location essentially and people can do quite bad things with it. So just be careful with who you go and give your server IP to 